the good people at SuperClean have been watching some of my videos and have seen how filthy dirty this car is with the leaks. And in lieu of me using my normal steam cleaner, they sent some products. SuperClean, the foaming agent, it's an aerosol, and um, a spray bottle. So I'm going to put, I'm going to give these a test to clean up these areas because candidly, as much as I like to use steam, uh, it will take me a little bit longer and I just as soon get this done so I can work on these projects this afternoon. So let's give it a try. So what we're looking at here is I'm actually looking up at the transmission. If you're not familiar with the layout of a Porsche 928, the engine and transmission are about five feet apart. The engine is up in front and what you see here is a, actually a Mercedes automatic transmission, a four-speed automatic, that's mounted to a transaxle just ahead of the rear axle. You can see that the transmission pan that we're looking at right there and then that circular thing just in front of it is the torque converter that connects to the torque tube and what you see is it's just filthy. I'm hoping that it's just a case of some fluid leaking out somewhere mainly from the pan. I, I, it's just so caked with dirt I just don't know at this point and we'll just have to see how that plays out uh, but for now the key is I want to make sure that we get this clean. So I'm using the spray clean and it's just going to be a series of spraying it. I thought in this application the, f the spray versus the pump action would be a lot faster and it seems to stick better. And so it's a case of spraying it, letting it sit, and then uh, scrubbing what you can off and reapplying. And you'll see it's just, it's just caked on here. I've sped up. This is about a half an hour process. Now there's a good shot of the torque converter. You're going to see that's actually an aluminum casing and as I get the pump and towards the back you'll see a piece that kind of right there uh, sits off of that was full of grease and you'd, you'd think it was black like the trans pan was too uh, but you're in for a little surprise here a little bit. So here I am trying to use the pump but you can see it just drips too much in this application. I think it's better for horizontal. Now here, um, spent just continuing to work, I actually am using a brass brush there to clean it with a microfiber towel, but I was careful not to use the brass brush on the pan itself because that's a painted surface. And now you see to the left hand side there, that is actually a plastic case on the lower left hand side. That's the reservoir you use to fill the pan with. You can see it's cleaning up well, the torque converter tube in front of it. Uh, here in a couple slots, I'm using a photo, a photography brush that you can order off of Amazon. That's what you use for, to clean photography equipment. And look at how clean the uh, torque converter is, uh, just ahead of the transmission now. Pretty amazing how uh, that came up. Again, just spray, rinse, and repeat. Here I'm actually using a, an old toothbrush. And that's better for the painted surface of the pan. It's gentle enough for your teeth, it's gentle enough for the painted surface. So again, now I'm getting into the finer areas with the toothbrush. But you can see it's a grimy job. I At this point I did not have my rubber gloves on and I uh, regret not doing that. It's always a good idea to put latex gloves on. But look at how clean that came up. I'm very impressed with uh, the super clean. So there's a before shot. I'm a little scared to find out why this is leaking but um or, or why this is so grimy and where it's leaking uh, I'm, ho I'm hopeful that it's not at the top of the transmission case and uh, we'll go from there but for now um, it's important we get the transmission fluid changed as you can see here what a difference now is it perfect no my main point was to get uh, the edges where the black pan meets the aluminum housing for the transmission uh, it's important to get all of that clean as well as the bolts around it so that I can take it out with a minimum of uh, fear that I get dirt into the transmission. And then uh, what's amazing to me is in the upper right-hand corner now is the plastic reservoir that was coated 
just as badly as the pan. It's still not perfectly clean yet. I'm going to uh, detail this a little bit better once I get the pan off uh, because what I want to do is uh, actually clean the inside of it uh, prior to reinstalling. And my hunch is there's a magnet in there and as well as 36 years of caked on grime. I'm hoping that at some point the fluid was changed. In fact, I'm, what's promising is if you look, um, there is a drain plug for this and it looks like it's been used before. So chances are good the fluid's been changed at some point. Um, we're good there and that, that, that helped with the longevity. So there you have it. While my steam cleaner is good for a number of things, including minor dirt, in certain situations like I have with this and the oil pan on the uh, bottom, it, it was just 36 years of caked on grime. At that point, I'd still be steam cleaning it rather than uh, trying to get it done as quickly as possible. So I want to thank SuperClean. It does a tremendous job in those situations. I'm looking forward to using another one of their products uh, in an upcoming video. Good to be back with Grime Time uh, now that the weather's breaking. Over the next couple of days, what I'm going to be doing is changing the transmission fluid and the filter, so I'll have a segment on that, as well as then what it takes to take the oil pan off and replace the gasket on that. So those are the next two segments. And then following that is uh, replacing the drive boots on the steering rack. So a lot of good stuff coming up in the next few days. Uh, stay tuned, and we'll have these all posted by early next week. If you're enjoying these videos, please press the like button and as well as the subscribe button. I appreciate all the subscribers who have joined in the month since I've uh, posted the last uh, non-auction related video. And if you haven't done so, please check out our main website, guyswithrides.com. I think you'll find a lot of great content on there uh, that we post daily, as well as uh, if you're interested in selling your collector car, we do offer auction functionality. So thanks for watching. Stay safe, and we'll see you soon. Thanks. <laughs>